Why? So, because they open at 10 now. So today's a thrifting video. We just pulled up to the thrift store and the entire parking lot is filled. I have never seen it like this. I'm really hoping they didn't pull out the new racks. The truck just pulled away, it seems like. So I hope that they didn't have enough time to pull out the new racks yet. Let's hope and see. Let's hope we get some good stuff. But like I said, I've never seen this parking lot filled. Usually there's just a couple cars, but the fact that they open at 10, I feel like more people are gonna be coming because it's obviously later and maybe they get more chances instead of waking up so early. So let's see. Let's hope we find some good stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Hey. Welcome back. So many people. Yeah, So off that new rack, I did find this reprint or new age Naruto shirt. Some Polo Ralph Lauren patchwork plaid shorts. And then a vintage Tommy Hill figure little striped polo. Nothing too special, but hope the, the other new racks will be better. Excuse me. All right, so this is everything that I just got off that new rack. We have these Diodora sweatpants, little track pants, a little Diodora hit. There's some embroidery on here somewhere too. Right there. I don't know if I'm gonna grab these or not, but Adidas black and red. Actually, I'm probably gonna leave them now that I'm looking at them. Put those back. I have to look up this brand because I've never heard of it before. I don't know if it's anything special. Don't know everything, so I do have to look that up. Nixon, I know Nixon, it, what it is, it's like a watch skateboard surf company, but I don't know. I'm gonna look that up also. Got this Mickey Disney fleece, little black and red zip up, no back hit. Vintage polo jeans, polo Ralph Lauren, polo jeans co, little fleece, no back hit. And then pull a ruffler in in the black yellow little track jacket. I did also find a pair of these Adidas hey, hey, NMD hey, hey. Destructs. Oh. Ooh, let me know. You should know. Well, obviously the other day was better. Um, we did find some nice things though. You know, we got uh, a few jackets, one pair of shoes, uh, a T-shirt. So you know what? You can't get. You know, you can't strike gold all the time. And I, at least I'm leaving with something. I could be leaving with literally nothing. Uh, there's been times, obviously, you guys know if you've been thrifting, there's times that you walk out and you don't find a single thing. You go through all the racks, look at every single t-shirt, and you don't find anything. So at least I did find something. Uh, we're gonna quickly get some breakfast somewhere, probably like empanadas or something, like a little bakery. Continue today's vlog. So let's see what food we get.
decided to come to Versailles and I've actually filmed here before because me and my dad would come here whenever uh, he has like a long layover uh, I would pick him up from the airport and we'd come here and get some Cuban food. I think she wants to get like some pastries or whatnot. I'm probably gonna get some lunch, maybe a Cuban sandwich, maybe a steak. I'm not really sure what I'm feeling. I wasn't too hungry, but now that I'm here, I'm getting kind of hungry. Well, this is the bakery part of the section. I thought we were actually going to the actual restaurant, but I guess not. So I got a Cuban sandwich, uh, I think a Cuban sandwich is just ham, cheese, pickles, uh, I forget what else is in there, pork I think, and then she got empanadas, do you know which ones are which, or what did you get? Both are meat. Just meat? Yeah. And then what's that? That's a potato tortilla thing. Mm. It's potato with the onions. And then what kind of drink is this? That's a Malta. I don't know how to explain that. I've never known what the fuck it is, but it's... Uh, I don't think it's good, though. It's from my country. Well, a little update. It's been a few hours now. I am headed about 30 minutes away from where I live to go pick up a holster for a new gun that I got the other day. Um, about two, three days ago, I picked up a Glock 43X. Uh, it's gonna be my new everyday carry. I used to carry the Glock 19, but it was just too heavy. Um, the size, the weight, I wear gym shorts a lot living in South Florida, so I needed a smaller, but I still wanted a high capacity round. Um, the 43X naturally holds 10 rounds plus one, but I do have a Shield Arms magazine, so it holds 15, so it holds just as much as my Glock 19, but it's half the weight and half the size. So it's my new everyday carry, and I don't have a holster for it. If you guys are familiar with guns or you guys know about guns and ammo you know ever since covid guns and ammo have literally gone up double the price like it's it's mind-blowing i was looking at the glock 43x in july and it was 475 i went in the other day to a random shop they wanted 650 for it ammo nine millimeter bullets you could get for maybe 20 cents maybe at the most 25 now they're starting at 40 to 50 cents per bullet and that's just practice range if you want self-defense ammo you're looking at a dollar plus per round which is absolutely insane especially for a nine millimeter that's just mind-blowing so i'm gonna go pick up a holster i'm picking up two holsters actually uh they're both in the waistband but they're a little bit different uh he's giving me a good deal he's giving me 30 bucks and then he's also giving me two extra magazines for ten dollars each so fifty dollars and i'm getting two mag or two holsters as well as two other magazines so i feel like that was a good deal so i'm gonna go do that this, where I'm meeting him, there is a vintage store and there's also a resale store. I did, if you guys saw, I hit on the Jordan 3 um, fragments. Basically, I wanna see if I can sell them. I'm gonna try to bring them to a store, maybe if I have time. I do have to pick up my friend at six, it's 3.30 right now. So if I don't have time, then I'll just say that for another video or another vlog. But uh, if we do, I am gonna try to sell my fragments today. But if not, then like I said, I'm just gonna go pick up these holsters, head back home, and I'll show you guys the rest that I got. So I'll show you guys the holsters once I pick them up. All right, so this is one of two. It's called the Dreadnought holster. Basically, it's just a Kydex, um, you know, like carbon fiber look to it. Just nice little clip holder. And then I got another one, same thing, Kydex, but this one has an attachment claw. Now basically what this claw does is when you're holding it, it keeps the imprint less down. Like it keeps, um, I don't know, it just, I'll have to show it on, but it just, it makes it a lot more less concealed. And if you look at the difference of the cut of both of these, they're different. If you see, this one goes up higher versus that one is slant. So that was the reason why. Now this one in stores is about $45. This one in stores is about $70. So, um, yeah, I definitely got a good deal. And then, like I said, he gave me two factory Glock 10-round magazines, which is perfect because these by itself are about $25. <clears throat> I paid $20 for both, 
and then $30 for this. So $50 got me all this. And then this is my Glock 43X. As you can see, fits in my hand. Very nice. And I'll show you guys what it looks like inside one of the holsters. Really nice, nice and secure. And then it has a tension screw right here, which I can tighten and loosen. But yeah, I'm, I'm really happy with this. Very good purchase. Shout out to everyone that has been placing orders. Got tons of orders, got three there and this whole entire bag filled with orders. Well, I just made it back home and I do want to show you guys the items that I did get. Unfortunately, it wasn't as good as the day that we did have the other day. But I did do a local trade and I got some sneakers, so I'm hoping that will kind of make up for, you know, the lack of stuff that I got. But I did want to show you guys the old Canon G7X. Look at this thing. Like, the lens was so dusty. It was just horrible. Dents everywhere. This thing came off. So I'm really happy I got a new camera and we're gonna we're gonna keep this one to the side just in case I need like parts or something, but this thing is destroyed. So now getting into the items that I did get today. We'll start off with these sneakers. They are the NMDs, uh, like deconstructs or destructs. I have no idea what the name is. Uh, they are size men's 11. Pretty good condition, doesn't seem that much flaws. What I've seen people do is actually cut the netting and then it'll just be like pink with the blue and it actually looks pretty sick. So we have those. We have these Diodora little track pants in the blue colorway. These are gonna be size large. Reprint Naruto shirt. It's tagged XL, but could fit probably about a large. Did get this vintage Tommy Hilfiger striped polo, size large. Polo Ralph Lauren, patchwork, like uh, plaid, or not patchwork, but plaid shorts. These are gonna be size 38. This is a woman's jacket, but it does fit big and it is reversible. I just like this side because it has like faces all over. The reverse side is just gray, but it probably fits about a woman's XL. So if I had to guess, probably about a men's medium, maybe even a men's large, but I will put measurements. Polo Ralph Lauren, black and yellow track jacket. Seems like it's going to be uh, XL, maybe a 2XL. Vintage Polo Ralph, or Polo Ralph Lauren Jeans Co, little half fleece. It's probably about an XL. Old school Mickey Mouse Disney. The bread fleece, you have the red and then the black up top. This is gonna be size 2XL as well. And then now for the sneakers, I did get these New Balance collab with J. Crew 998s. These are size men's 11. Saint Laurent low tops. The canvas with the navy embroidered stars all over. This is size 44, so it fits about a 10 and a half to 11. Todd's dress shoes, like these nice boots in brown, size men's eight and a half. And these are actually basically brand new. If you see, it has a $400 price tag from Barney's still in it. So that was a come up. And then last but not least, we do have these Jordan 1s, size 10. So these will all be listed, linked down below. So, all those items will be listed, linked down below. Make sure you check it out. Again, first link will be all the items I have for sale. It's about 300 items. If you never use Macari, then use the second link. You'll get like $30 store credit you can use in my store or any other stores you want to use. So make sure you guys go to that. Also, thumbs up the video. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. We're trying to get the hang of things. You know, I'm trying to get in the groove of making these videos again. So I hope you guys do enjoy. I appreciate you again. I will see you guys tomorrow for another video. And don't forget, guys, let's get it.